Okay, so. If you want to be a vampire in Sims 4, there are a few different ways you can do it. But first, you are going to need the vampire expansion pack somehow. And mm. yeah, so you can go do that. Pause the video. Go do that if you don't have it. But if you already have it, then you're good to go. And yeah, that's the only way you can be a vampire in Sims 4 is if you have the pack for it. But yeah, um, so the first way is that you can go into the create a sim and then add new sim, add a cult sim, and then vampire. So you click on that, it'll load one for you. And then, yeah, so I guess there's just this dude here. I guess I'll leave him and whatever. I'll just give him a name and everything, and then I'll give him some of these things and let's see what can we do here we could do uh, wants to create a family of vampires whatever why not and then i'll just do random stuff here just to you know add to this character you know if, if you guys want to do whatever, then do whatever, you know. I guess, you know, people are going to pick the stuff that they want to pick for their sims. Obviously, I'm sure you guys will, um, you know, make your own sim how they want to look. Okay, hate children, I guess that makes sense, but okay, yeah, whatever. Anyways, so yeah, you can make your own sim, or... What you can do is have a human sim and become a vampire in a different way. So if you already have a normal sim, then, you know, there are ways that you can become a vampire when you're already playing. So if you didn't already create a vampire, then there, you know, I'll show you how you can become a vampire. Because sometimes you might not, you might mess up and be like, oh, I didn't make my sim a vampire and I already went into the game and whatever and I already made them and, you know, I don't want to have to start over and all of that stuff. So, yeah, you, you might want to, you know, use a different way to do this. So, yeah, anyways, let's go into a lot here. And we're going to start in the vampire town because, you know, there's more of a chance of me getting my sim to become a vampire if I'm around a bunch of vampires. So, yeah, um, if you want to turn into a vampire, what you can do is that you can befriend a, another, you can befriend a vampire. So I could befriend the vampire that I already have here, but, you know, if you might not already, oh no, he's burning, I should, um, <laughs> I should put him in the house, because, or like, give him a room to stay in. Uh, go here. Hurry up. Go. Go inside. Go inside. Stay in there. Okay. <laughs> I just needed to do that real quick. Um, yeah, and then I'm going to take her. So I could have her be friends with him if I wanted to, but if you don't have a vampire sim, then you can go to this house here. And like visit them. I don't really care. We're just gonna visit them. We're just gonna go visit them. Or you could visit the other house that's up on the hill and that has what's his name up there and then you could try to get him to turn you but this house is right here so yeah. Um, okay uh friendly and or funny I guess whatever that works too. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You can try to be friends, you can compliment house, but yeah, if you become friends with someone, then you can maybe later then ask them if they will turn you into a vampire. Okay, so I don't, I'm not gonna try to be mean to him because I want to have him turn me. So it's like, I don't know why it's giving me... Okay, I guess the sim is evil. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I messed that up. I thought I could... Uh, whatever, but I guess her being evil 
kind of ruined that disgust no, interest. Steve, yeah, the, the bar will slowly go up. Maybe if I do uh, take a photo with him, because that does bring the friendship bar up a little bit higher. Compliments. Ask about vampire history. If I start talking about vampire stuff, then maybe. I don't know. I, if I just keep going vampire poem, that works too. Ask to turn. Okay, we are. We finally got to the point. So I guess around the time that you can ask to join household and whatever. So it's, it looks like it's about halfway ish there. Almost. And then I can ask to turn. And then maybe he'll. We'll Turn my sim. Even though they've only been around each other for a little while. <laughs> Looks like he's doing it though, so I guess it worked. You need to kind of do quite a bit to try to get there. And then it'll take a while, it'll take a few hours to be turned. See, I think it, what is it? How many hours is it before? 36 hours for my sim to turn. So if you turn a vampire, or if you turn a normal sim into a vampire, it'll take like a day or two in sims whatever to turn but if you make your uh if you make the time go faster it should go faster but yeah i feel like sometimes it takes a little bit longer than 36 hours <laughs> like i feel like sim time it's just like it takes so long to do i don't know um i guess I mean, actually, I can't build the rest of the house to do that, to wait. Like, I can't just whatever, but yeah, if this is going super fast, I mean, maybe I could, well, I guess I can't have them go to sleep at the same time if they're not tired, though. Because then it'll go super fast if they're sleeping. Now she's turning. There it goes. Okay, so we finally had her switch, and now she's wearing whatever the fuck outfit that is. But yeah, so now she's a vampire after waiting for quite a while. Um, but yeah, that's you know you have to wait like however long just for a vampire to turn. Um, but yeah, um. I guess 36 hours. And yeah, you can't go into the sunlight after this until you um, do all the power points. And then the, at some point you can do the uh, walk in daylight one after a bit. Um, there's also, if you um, want to, you can have vampire and a human have children and there's a 50 50 chance of them being human or a vampire or you could have two vampires have children and there's a hundred percent chance of them the children being a vampire so there's also that option um and then you can also do cheats there's also a cheats way to do vampire but now that this is the same as a vampire i can't really do the cheats but um, the cheats are if you open the cheats menu, which is 
um, control shift C, which I already have it open right here though, but uh, what you need to do is type in testing cheats on or testing cheats true, either way works, and then you can type in um, traits, and then traits period equip underscore trait trait underscore occult vampire. Um, if you want to see it written out, uh, I'll, I'll probably put it in the description or in the comments down below if you need to see it written out. But yeah, they will instantly turn turn instantly transform a sim into a vampire, um, and then you can remove the vampire trait, which is trait period remove underscore trait trait underscore occult vampire and you can remove it if you want to and yeah and then there's also stats period set underscore stat com comedity com com comedity underscore become vampire uh 2160 begin the trans vampire transformation stage from the beginning as if they had been bitten so that one you would still have to wait uh 36 sims hours but if you just want them to instantly turn into one then i'd go with the first one that i said and yeah so you can do cheats but you can also just do the normal way or you can just make it a sim from a vampire sim from the start but yeah that is how you turn into a vampire in sims 4 i think i'll have to cut out a lot of the stuff where it was just waiting for the sim to become a vampire because it does take a while so yeah, anyways, that will be it for this video then, so yeah, I guess bye then.